Okay, so back on the old um, cork handle uh, project. So this is uh, how I clean up cork handles. It's a um, this is uh, some advice that I was giving online, and it really works well. And when cleaning up cork handles, the best way I find to actually do it is to use these white uh, magic sponges. They're sort of a semi-solid sponge, which uh, you know they're used for cleaning. I think they're made from melamine or something like that. So I bought a pack of twelve of these for literally a couple of pounds from eBay. You can get them from supermarkets and so forth. I think they're just called magic sponges. Um, and they just clean up rods really, really, or clean up cork handles on rods really well. So I've just got this rod off a friend of mine, uh, Mark, and I said that I was going to just tidy up the handle. This is like a really nice um, older Daiwa made in the UK, made in Great Britain, made in the UK, Jaguar tip rod. I've got a similar one, but it's not made in the UK and it's noticeably different. I think this one is of a, a higher quality one. So it's got a 100% cork handle. There's actually this pretty nasty gap where the cork pieces have separated. There's some chunks and stuff missing out of it. So I said I'd give it a going over for him. So um, he wants to keep it as original as possible. So there's going to be no like replacement wheel fitting or anything. Just clean up the cork. So I thought this was a good demo. So I'm in, the bar I'm in our bathroom, and this is our main bathroom, but we never use it. So if it looks a mess, it is because we don't use it. And um, it's got a lovely white bath, but I'm, it's white. Uh, and now I think I'm going to be able to show like how effective this is. So these um, sponges, use them wet. We can see this is the before. And if I just start to rub, I'm hoping two things. First of all, we're going to see the difference on it, but also we're going to see all of that grime that's coming off into the white bath. And Mrs. is going to go crazy, but that's okay, I can handle her. And you can already just see all of the grime that's coming out. Mark told me that he still uses this uh, for commercial fishing. So I'm guessing he's using it um, you know, like techniques like method feeder and stuff. So ground bait, pellets, dirty hands, dirty hands on the rod means you know it's going to get transferred onto this handle. But you can just see what's coming off. These things, they disintegrate on use. I don't know you know, what, what the story is behind it, but um, one of these normally does, does two handles. But you can just see what's coming out of it, right? It's just... Mark, you need to wash your hands more when you're fishing, mate. Right, I'm not going to clean the whole thing up on cam, but you know, you get the idea. I'm going to use this rod when it's dry um, to show how to fill the gaps and so forth as well with the cork dust that I've uh, harvested from my old drenner. So when this is dry, we'll cut back in and 